What's going on YouTube? This is Chaos Rain here. Today I am here to show you a little bit about the whole, um, basically the Hateforge build and where it's at right now. I still have a bunch of things I need to fix and or tweak or figure out exactly what I'm going to do with. I have not finished that part yet, but I have a couple of ideas on what I can do. We'll see how that, ha um, how that plays out in due time. <coughs> So, first things first, if you guys remember the Val Lightning Strike Hateforge build from last league, it was able to do all content, able to kill all bosses, and everything like that. <coughs> it's still able to do that, but um, I just wanted to kind of show you the update on where I'm at with it. Because, you know, as you guys know, I do like playing standard, and playing some of my old builds is one of the more fun things I can do. So, let's go ahead and hop right into it uh, just to kind of show you guys exactly <coughs> exactly what you got to do with this build come on Alright, so first things first, we are running on a pseudo 5 link, um, pseudo 6 link technically. Uh, the 6 link is the level 25 elemental penetration. We have are running a, a pistol socket, this is giving us even more penetration if I haven't killed recently, so basically more bossing damage. It is synthesized with attack cast speed, life, and fire damage to attacks. Our links are lightning strike, foul lightning strike. Crit damage support, elemental damage with attacks, night blade support, increased crit strikes. This will give us a very high crit chance and uh, crit multi via, <coughs> via both of these. Now I can eventually drop the crit strikes and I should still be have a very healthy crit chance. But as of now I only have 41% crit chance. Um, so we're just going to kind of keep it where it's at. <coughs> Our ring is a just random crafted ring. We are using the Rot Blood Promise with the Temp Chains, the Hate Forge Gloves. They just have random stuff linked to it. I have Chains of Emancipation, a Claw that I crafted. I am using the pure Lightning version. However, I still have the Lizard Crown because it still <coughs> still gives you a decent amount of uh, flat cold. <coughs> and we have this uh, really janky shield. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hop the map just to kind of show you guys exactly what we're dealing with. Baron Citadel and normally I'd do Delirium, but I don't feel like uh, opening my stash and allocating. Our tree hasn't changed much. We've take, taken a little bit more Flask Notables and Flask Clusters. <coughs> more specifically, we have a lot of the Flask Effect Duration. And duration of flasks or flask charges gained. So flask effect duration, uh, duration of flask, duration during flask effect, uh, flask effect duration, increased flask charges gained, flask effect duration, increased flask charges gained. So basically, we have as much flask charges as we can. And in doing that, our, all of our flasks have used when adjacent flask is used, all next to the Quicksilver flask, which is reused at the end of flask effect. <coughs> basically what this means, I press my flasks once, and I basically had them throughout the whole mask, map I mean. And uh, just, to, just to kind of show you, I will go ahead and uh, slow roll this map just a little bit, so you can see exactly how you gotta go about doing it. PlayStation load times, people. <coughs> As you know, with this build, you have to wait for your rage to come up, so that's what we're doing here. Once it hits 24, we're good to go. And now we press one button, and now we don't even have to press anything for the rest of the map. Mm -hmm. 
Now I do have one curse and the one curse I have currently is the um, temporal chains. I don't have any curse effect to make it insane, it's just what I have or just what I have. It's level 21 and blasphemy, so it does what it can. Uh, I always go back for loot because literally this build is so faithfully it's ridiculous. I literally only press one button to the full map aside from the initial class. And that was Baron. Hope you guys like this uh, showcase of the Hate Forge build. I know it's uh, been done, but just wanted to kind of show you. Let's see, what do we got going? T1 Multi, Mana Leech, Fizz is Fire, and Avoid Being Ignited. That's awkward. <coughs> Going back to hideout real quick. All right. So, yep. Without further ado, this has been Chaos Rain. I hope you guys enjoyed this Hate Forge build. I understand that it's been done and it's a uh, relatively common due to last league. However, I just wanted to show you where it's at after the nurse. I don't have the new flask, which has been nerfed yet. For, um, I I think I can probably find one and divine it, or I can just not divine mine because I think all mine are high roll, and then just buy a cheap one. <coughs> and um, I don't I'm not using any of the nerf flasks this is all legacy flasks every single one just so I can uh, get the max output out of my flask grinder now I can't guarantee what you're going to get with the whole uh, nerf with it I know you're going to have a lot less crit chance crit multi or sorry uh, damage crit chance and reduce effect there I know the legacy version of this has way, way, way less penetration and way less damage, reduced damage taken when you're balanced. And this one, basically, they have just kind of messed up, if I'm not mistaken, overall. And then this one, I don't remember exactly. I think it's just a failed mod, but I, I can't remember. I gotta figure that out. But as you guys saw, I had no issue killing the boss, and I was just able to kind of murder all the content relatively easy. Um, this is basically how the whole play style for this build goes. So if you guys like it, feel free to like, subscribe, click that little uh, bell icon on the side to notify you when I make more videos. I'm going to be trying to make a lot of videos coming out soon. I decided today I would make four simply because I haven't been uh, um, available to make them lately and then today specifically I managed to um, to break free from that and tomorrow I won't be here so you know just kind of just kind of trying to make my schedule a little bit better and work out work it out with people um, hopefully I can bring you guys a up-to-date league video r relatively soon but it's kind of hard to do because um, I just don't have all the that much time to play league and I am still like an item or two short from making my my lead character just be able to solo all content that i need it to but eventually i'll get there thank you so much for joining me here on this video today and i hope you guys all have a good one